People is proud to present the fourth season of the 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, which is leading the way in advocating for technology that promotes financial inclusivity. Since 2020, we've profiled over 100 fintechs and our latest season is shining a spotlight on those breaking down digital barriers and transforming lives for the better. This is season four of the 40 Days 40 Fintechs initiative. We continue to shine a spotlight on prime fintech stories that are impacting millions and millions of life across Africa. And today we are coming to you live from Kabanyi Luo District, where we are interacting with AgriShare App. I'm Chizito Vicente from Kabanyi Luero. I'm a Singza Kosea, an operator of the tractor. I am Paul Zake, and I'm managing director and co-founder AgriShare Uganda Limited. We are a digital startup enabling farmers to hire and as well lend the agricultural resources in Uganda. We all know we have about 10 billion people to feed by 2050. We need 60% more food to feed this population. Our hope and major hope is within the smaller farmers. These are the farmers who are growing crops, lowering livestock in those villages, in the peri-urban areas. The challenge is that they are producing less. And when they produce less, it means they sell less, which means more poverty. They also eat less, because, which leads to food insecurity. There are many issues why that one rises, but one of the key issues where there is a gap is because uh, they are lacking key agricultural sources. By agri agricultural sources, I mean land, tractors, irrigation pumps, or sometimes even connection to farm workers. If you travel from Kampala to Guru, Kampala to Masaka, Kampala to Jinja, Kampala to Karamoja, you will see a lot of idle land lying on the sides. Who is owning this land? Is there a potential to grow crops on this land? According to FAO, 70% of the land in Uganda is arable, which means you can grow crops. And 40% of this is lying idle. And this is how Agusha will come in. We connect the people who own these resources to those ones who want the resources. And we will do this in an innovative way. We have Agusha app, which is available on Play Store. You just download and be able to share, but as well access the resources. Knowing about Agusha Uganda, uh, I got known it from my friends who are talking about it. And they advised me to download an Agusha app where I went onto an Agusha app. So what some of the activities which they are doing on their app. So. I decided to tell on my granny to be part of the AgriShare app. We joined, we saw the services they provide. So we contacted Mr. Dinkins. From there they came and hired our land where my granny is able to pay for us our school fees. My fellow, my, uh, my brothers and sisters are studying. And me also I'm studying because of the, uh, because of the impact of AgriShare, let me say because of the impact of agri share, because they hired our land, now I'm able to go to school and study. After downloading the app, we listed the, uh, our tractor, so they had to hire us, uh, one of our machines, tractors, uh, for plowing. So they hired us to plow 25 acres. So as of now, we are on the ground, where we have so far plowed uh, 10 and above acres. In Uganda, uh, we have over uh, 40,000 active youth farmers who are using AgriShare platform. And these ones have transacted, we have over 50,000 transactions. And this one has enabled us even to further scale up. Currently, we are operating uh, in entire Uganda, but we started off with a small journey of just three dis districts. And with increasing demand, we are expanding and being able to impact these farmers. But the potential is high. We have over 5 million farming households in Uganda, which means though we are still on 40,000 who are actively using, we have these other large farmers, large number of farmers who have potential to use AgriShare platform. AgriShare has rented 23 acres from my granny's land, and now farmers are using it to plant cassava, plant maize, others are growing watermelons on this land. AgriShare is of course a uh, financial digital and also uh, it's important to know that we have two categories of farmers. 
We have the resource users. These are the farmers who hire orange services from our platform. And we have enabled these farmers to uh, transact digitally through various ways. First of all, uh, one thing which we started off even when we were just establishing was to partner with MTN and Airtel. We have integrated the Airtel and the MTN APIs within our Agusha app. And that means that within the app, our farmers can be able to, um, to make payments within the app. That's very critical. That means somebody just hires a doctor, but also makes payments effectively, but also efficiently, but also in a very sure way. I don't need to go to the office to tell, to, 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 to request for services, but I use my AgriShare app to get services delivered by AgriShare Uganda. So I encourage my fellow farmers to also join AgriShare Uganda. We receive our payments from the bank and sometimes from the mobile money. They should uh, improve on uh, advertisement because for, for us, we were possible to download that app where we found the AgriShare company. But there is other people who are not, who are not capable to download that app, who are not having smartphones, who are, not, who, are, who are in deep villages. As I said earlier, there are those farmers who don't uh, have smartphones and they use future phones. And we have also taken steps to ensure that even these farmers who are not yet at that level being very digital smart, but uh, they are transacting through Agushaya, for them to be able to make payments through the merchants, that's Airtel merchant, but also MTN merchant. Of course, they also have these other corporate farmers uh, who pay through the bank. And uh, those ones who come to the office, of course, they can pay by cash. But we have seen a trend where most farmers are paying digitally. And that's one is beneficial, not only to us, but also for the farmers, for them to pay easily, but also to receive, for us to receive money sexually. There are many benefits from high people 40 days for the fintechs. And the first one is the visibility. As fintech actors, the visibility is very critical, not only to get more business, but also to get those stakeholders who are much needed. That's one. But also, the second way is that at the end of the 40 days for the fintechs, there is an exhibition which is done. This is provides an opportunity, not only to share, interact with the other actors within the sector, but also to collaborate and also hopefully get more partnerships. Uh, within other actors, which is key, especially in Uganda, where many actors uh, previously were working in silos, but now we see more collaborations among the fintech actors. For details, visit www.agri.com. Share dot app. Join us in this financial inclusivity revolution presented in partnership with Level One Project, Cyber PLC Academy, Cross Select Technologies, Infitex, Ideation Corner, and the Modulub Foundation with generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Follow hashtag 40 Days for the Fintechs, hashtag Level One Project to learn more and get involved in creating a brighter financial future for all.